Today we head to Western Oklahoma to visit Justin Cox in the Six Bar C Buck and Bulls training operation. Welcome to the ranch. I'm Justin Cox with Six Bar C Buck and Bulls in Eric, Oklahoma. Six Bar C, that's my dad's brand, and that comes from him, my mom, and me, my two brothers, and my sister. We started this when I was, oh, I think I was 14, 15 years old. I rode, I rode bulls, you know, grew up in junior rodeos, and, and uh, decided we wanted to try to start raising some. And my granddad, Tommy, helped me buy, we went and bought, I believe, four cows from Joe Merrick, Joe and Kyle Merrick over at Sayre and started that way and um, my granddad helped me get started my my grandmother uh, now jane she had she had the land and um that's how we started and then i we took a bunch of cows after that we took a bunch of cows from alan mccloy about 100 head and we run them on the house for him for several years and then i started buying you know my own sets here and there and i started out i bought one truck and i ran that myself for for about a year and then I got up to running, I think at one time I had eight trucks and trailers and I was running underneath a, somebody else's authority. And did, and during that time, was, you know, we was building this the entire time that I was doing that. And I got up to where I had, you know, I put together about 100, 150 head of cows that were mine. And um, the oil field, it, it made me really good money. It helped me get started. I was able to buy some more land. I was able to buy some of this land for my grandmother. and. It when, it when it went down, um, I got to where I wasn't making as much money in it, and I was to a place where I could afford to do this solely to make a living. And that was, so I've been doing it now, I believe this will be going on seven years. This is all I've been doing. We've got roughly about 200 head of cows and heifers. Um, some of those I'm partners with people on, some of them I own outright, and I also take certain sets of outside cattle, cows, uh, for guys. Like I've got some of the Massey cattle, I've got Idle Hearts, um, and a few other, Pat Walters from Colorado, and a few others, and we'll take those cows and we'll run them on the halves. Uh, we'll be, you know, just partners on everything. And I just kind of get to run that, like it's my own operation, with the owners, you know, um, they give them their input and we work together and, and make that happen. And so when I turn bulls out, when I turn my breed bulls out, I kind of look at, uh, there's a few sets that I've got that I've kind of tried to put them together as far as what that set of cows is, is putting out. Like if they're, if they're throwing calves that are, you know, 90 mile an hour spinners, don't have any trouble turning back, I may try to find a bull that's got all the leap and kick and put that with them and see if that helps in that in that area. Or if I got a set of cows, that, you know, it's vice versa, that's throwing the, putting the kick in the bulls and, the, and getting off the ground, leaping, but I can't get the spin out of them. I might put one that, that uh, you know, doesn't negate every time with all the intensity you could ask for. And, and sometimes it works and, you know, sometimes it's a shit show. The best bull that I've ever had breed, breeding bull wise, it's gotta be 98 city lights because the percentages have been really really good for me um I, I sold him we ended up selling him last year to dylan duggar but we're still going to be able to have a handle on those calves and but his over the years he's had very very few coals that uh that i had to just you know haul off most of them have been all, almost every one of them have been sellable some of them for quite a bit of money and but all of them have been at least you know four or five thousand they just they uh they're easy to dial in, and, and some of them had a lot more buck than others, but they all seemed to be good enough where somebody wanted them at some level. Um, he he would take a cow that would be, you know, I'd be thinking about getting rid of, and he would, you know, she would have a calf by him that might be worth $5,000, where when everything else she had would be, you know, mm -hmm. just by the pound. And then on the, on the bull side of it, I sell all my wean calves to two of my partners, uh, Jay Girdro and Wayne Slaughter, which I, we also have cows with them, but they're, 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 they take care of them cows. And 
So they, they buy all my wing calves up front and then but they, they want to sell them all they want they want to we'll, we'll haul them and then we'll sell them and we'll do what we need to do to get them sold and they'll just roll that over and they'll do it again the next year the way we've been doing it here for the last few years but i also take a lot of outside bulls and there's there's different ways that i do that um some people just pay me to buck through them and, and you know get the ones out of there that are good enough to compete some people send them to me and then we just partner up on them and, and we can do that where it's at no cost to the to the owner of the cattle um, and it just, you know, I'll probably, I'm going to say about half the bulls around here, ones we raised, and about half of them, you know, come from the outside from somebody else's program. When we start our yearlings, um, we usually just get them all and, and we'll buck them once. And, uh, and we might, then we'll, we try to do that. We'll try to put two trips on pretty quick, like we put them in the same week and we'll buck them all again. And then we'll start sorting on them. And the ones that, that, uh, you know, don't look like they're gonna make the cut will go one way. And then we'll try to start sorting the two two different pins on top of that. So three pins, and I call it A, B, and C pin. The A calves are the best ones. The B, B pin are ones that, well, you know, we think has a shot and the, the C pin are the ones that we'll probably haul off. And then we'll take that, that third pin, that C pin, and we'll buck them again and maybe twice more as quick as we can to get them out of here if we don't think they're going to work and these are cats that may may not have the confirmation that we just don't like them from an early age or don't have to try you know we just don't think they have much of a chance at all to to be sellable or be a competition type bull and then we'll go back and we'll, we'll then we'll start focusing on the a pin more and try to get them ready for the earlier competitions the yearling deals and the b pin kind of gets pushed to the side a little bit once we start getting the A pin, and some of those bulls will go down to the B pin, or maybe even all the way down to the C pin, and and some of them will, you know, be what we thought start showing more what we thought they might be, and then we'll go back to the B pin after we kind of get a set of yearlings together that we think we can haul, and we'll go to working on them, and trying to get them, you know, finding the bulls that are going to rise up from that pin, find the ones that are going to go down, and the ones that are just going to stay in that, you know, fifteen hundred, twenty five hundred dollar type of calf range. And then we'll, after that, we try to start marking them all and get them all sold. Uh, most of my sales are on the Breeders Connection, and we'll have anywhere from, you know, five to ten, maybe even twelve of them a year. Some of them are 20, 30 heads, some of them are 10 head. And I really just put those sales together depending on what I've got at the time, whatever I'm, you know, getting dialed in yearling wise, and uh, just kind of whatever I've got around that I try to keep the quality of the sales up where there's nothing on there that's, you know, not worth selling. Uh, probably the best cows I've got right now that we're hauling, they're all two-year-olds, and um, the 635F, uh, Justin Massey's, and he uh, he was in the top 10 at San Antonio. Um, he's been really good. He's probably now pushing out with ABBI and, and the open deals I've taken him to. He's probably, he's probably up around 40000 in earnings, I would say. And... Um, and then 812 Hoochie Coochie, and he, he won the Belt and Yearling deal last year. He belongs to the Buck and Fun partnership that Billy James put together. Um, he's a Bubba son, and another Bubba son, 823 Rip, has been a really solid calf. He's hard to get over that 90 mark, but he's solid 88, 89 almost every time we buck him. He belongs to Bill and Shelly Truax. Um, and then 320-8, Bet Your Boots and Ted Keeling, he's a fistful of dollar son. He's a big, powerful type calf, uh, and he's done some good. He's, he's been marked 90, um, but he's uh, he's something that I look to be a, a better derby bull than he is a fraternity calf, but he's, he's a good, solid calf. And, um, and then there's a couple more that are around here that are starting to, two-year-olds I'm starting to dial in that I'm, I may start hauling pretty quick, but those four are kind of paving the way right now.